So what I'm doing here is I am unveiling a mold that I had placed resin inside of and I used some baby's breath to place inside of the mold. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm not really good on camera. I'm trying my best, but it's just not something that I'm good at. So my problem was I didn't buy any spray to put inside the mold to make these pieces come out easier. Um, so with this mold in particular, I had to cut down the side in order to peel out the last one that I did. So with that being said, I had to tape this one up so the resin wouldn't fall out of the side. So now that it's been about 24 hours, I'm going to see what I have underneath here. And um, yeah, see some of the resin seeped out, which is fine. I mean, at least all of it didn't come out. And at least the tape is pretty easy to take off. It is all Um even now in Let's just see what happened here. You can see I'll show you. Okay, cool. So that really wasn't that bad. So see some of the resin stuck to the tape. But that was probably the stuff that I had on it before. I put tape on it. Okay, cool. So see, it still works. Awesome. Let's still take it out of the mold. Oops. I'm having a little difficulties. My mother functions not the best lately. I don't know why. It's really strange. Okay, so we are going to have to do a little bit of shaving off of some of the stuff. But check out how cool that is. His baby's breath inside of some resin. I'm not really good at getting the air bubbles out. I'm really not entirely sure how to get them out of something this tiny when I'm working with something this huge, which is just a hot air gun, really. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll have to get like a mini blowtorch or something, but look at how cute that is. The next one should be even cuter, but um... I'm not ready to show you that yet. Okay.